guess I owe you guys somewhat of an explanation. Uh, this is going to be a soft-spoken beard brushing video. It's going to be put into <laughs> two parts. The first bit will be kind of like channel announcements and stuff. The second bit will be, I guess, a vlog, an update for stuff that for stuff that's been going on recently. Uh, so you don't have to hang around for that bit if you don't want to. I guess people have noticed the changing name. And uh, I don't know where the inspiration for my current one comes from. is my channel, not yours. I am, um, I've been toying with changing my name for quite a long time now. Uh, the idea of the drunk ASMR, I, well, I think I started off as that ASMR dude. And the idea of um, drunk ASMR came from where I would get hammered on booze before I did my role plays. And, uh, kind of drinking was starting to become a bit of an issue so I decided not to do it so much I still have, have a drink now and then but I then kind of thought time for a name and I toyed with a lot of ideas uh, low quality they altered the ASMR name low quality content ASMR shitty ASMR I went through it did this for a couple of weeks going through like a half Dozen well, a couple of dozen different names, uh, and then and then I'd settled on um, cromulent ASMR. Now, cromulent is a word from uh, the Simpsons that um, from the Simpsons. as well as the term Embiggens, which this is my wife's brush and now I've got her hair in my beard. <laughs> uh, and the idea of that is a noble spirit embiggens the smallest mind or something. And they'd say, I don't know what the word is, nothing wrong with that, it's a perfectly cromulent use of the word. And I thought I was going to call myself cromulent ASMR. Because ASMR is another stupid made up term. And I thought it kind of went and I set everything up, I made some channel art, I did all this. And when I actually came to do it, I kind of looked up. <laughs> and um, I'd just been listening to an album by the Vandals called um, Vandals, oh, Hitler Bad, Vandals Good. And that's when I kind of came up with the idea. Hitler Bad. It's not good. It's a statement, it's a fact. <laughs> There's no real explanation behind it whatsoever. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> I, this time it starts to become a problem. But the um, <laughs> the name hasn't been entirely popular. I've had a few messages from people saying uh, they've been upset by it, and I've not done it to be edgy. Although I'm not going to lie. You know, the name might catch people's attention and get some more subscribers or views. That's cool. It's not been entirely positive. And, uh, but this is my sense of humour. And if people don't like it, they don't have to stick around. So that's up to them. I'd love to have you along, but, you know, can't please everyone. Whether I stick with it or not, we'll see. I'll kind of get bored really easily, as you can tell. Uh... <laughs> It does mean some things have changed. Now, if you look below on there, uh, I've updated... <laughs> wrong side. I've updated my social media things. So, if you're subscribed to me on Twitter, I'm now a totes not Hitler. <laughs> I'll go into that in a minute. Uh, but, you know, that's not a new Twitter account. I just changed the name. 
I've got a new Snapchat uh, called Totes Not Hitler. So if you want to add me on that, please go ahead. Mainly because I forgot the password from my other one. Uh, I've also got a Tumblr still, which has changed again to Hitler Bad Lukey Good. It's <laughs> a the theme here, as you can guess. Uh, and I have done something I said I'd never do before. And I keep looking at the camera, I think it's over there when it's there. I have set up a PayPal account. Now, I've done this because I've, a couple of times I've had people kind of ask me to make a donation. And I already said, no, I don't want to. <coughs> but my current working situation is not good. Uh, or money, or anything. Everything's not good, actually. But, you know, that's not the bit you're here for, this bit. Uh, so, I am down to using my phone and a Chromebook to do editing. So I've set that up, so if people want to donate, fantastic, cool, if they don't, doesn't matter, I'm still going to make these videos, you know, it's, I'm still going to carry on doing what I'm doing, it's just uh, an option, so ignore it or not, it means I'm still never going to monetize this account, there's still never going to be adverts, you know, never have to worry about that, so I just thought of yeah, and the money will only get spent on this, for like equipment and stuff, so. That's that, whatever. And, uh, uh, the, <laughs> the last things I did was the swearing ones. And that went quite well. And that was meant to finish up with a... <laughs> it was meant to finish up with a collaboration that I've done with six or seven other content creators. And... Uh, I kind of fell into a bit of a dark depression recently and I didn't do it and then I'm having technical issues where I've got everything from my camera on an SD card which can't be read on my computer for some reason which just stopped doing it so that's coming it's still there it's just on the back burner you know I mean it's taken me 11 days to get around to doing this I've been trying to think trying to do this every night for the last 11 days <laughs> and I just haven't had the energy I'm just just working a lot yeah, for a lot less money than I was on I'm trying to make ends meet uh, as you can see the beard and the beard is there because I just kind of didn't have energy to shave and <laughs> it's just um, yeah it is what it is, isn't it? But the but the I'm going to be running uh, a competition soon. Again, another one I quite like the idea of. I did one about this time last year where I wanted people to Photoshop me and things, and that came out with some really good responses. So <laughs> I've got the photos. I've got my wife involved. And essentially what we've done is we've got me in a series of poses <laughs> in front of a green screen to make it easier if anyone wants to join in. <laughs> I don't know what the prizes might be. I think I'm going to do like some Amazon vouchers or like, a, you know, the first prize will be some Amazon vouchers. Second prize will be a role play idea, something like that. And uh, everything I get that gets submitted will go onto my blog and yeah, yeah. So it was quite fun last time. I'd quite like that. Uh, so that's an idea. <laughs> also, uh, I want to have a... I like the idea of this channel name, and I'd like to have a... Um, <laughs> like a character. And I'm trying to come up with a design <laughs> for a cute healer. <laughs> I've, um, I've actually asked a friend, um, Duke Dume ASMR. Uh, he's got this art style I love, and uh, he said he's going to have a go, so I'd like to have that. And if any of you guys want to have a go at a cute Hitler, <laughs> that'd be great. I want to involve him, put him on my, uh, like, um, the thumbnails of the video, <laughs> stuff like that. I thought we'll go all in. I don't, never really bothered with the kind of channel art style. 
and I thought that could be quite fun. And one of the biggest questions people are asking at the moment is, why Hitler? <laughs> Anyone who knows me in real life will know I'm not a Nazi in the slightest. I've just find like the most, you know, questionably the most evil man in history. He is, you know, this small little man with glasses. <laughs> you know, he, well, he wasn't. He had a slightly chopped out sometimes. This small little man who wanted to be an artist who ended up becoming the even the, the worst human in history, known history kind of thing. And the psychology behind that and how he got there just intrigues me. And uh, kind of, I like kind of dark humour and shitty shock humour. And Hitler feels that role quite well, so I quite like kind of Hitler jokes and stuff. You know, so there's, I bet you did not see that coming. Anyway, <laughs> so that's why that. Uh, I did have a list of stuff somewhere. But uh, I'm hoping this is kind of relaxing. Because my wife's going to be questioning why there's small ginger hair in her phone. Um, oh, fuck, I'm tired. It's, let's do this. It is. Let's do that a little bit more. Yeah. It's like three o'clock in the morning. And, uh, actually, for me, that's really early at the moment. going through the mental health care system again at the moment. I've got a, uh, I had a, I applied for, I think I did a video update about that a while ago. I applied for like uh, free health, free cognitive behavioural therapy. And they said that they can do it. They sent me on the mental health assessment. Well, this is going on to a, I did that. And this is going on to another, um, sorry. Ooh. Another mental health assessment uh, with a psycho. Well, this is a psychiat psychiatric assessment where I think that they're doubting my bipolar cyclothemia diagnosis. And uh, for a while, I have as well. I do get a lot of the mood swings and stuff like that. <clears throat> but there's a lot that doesn't kind of add up. And I have a theory that I fit. You know, I read through it that borderline personality disorder uh, fits me more. Now I know that's a kind of a catch-all thing, this diagnosis. But um, I've been really struggling recently because I let the bipolar diagnosis I got a few years back. I've kind of let that define who I am. You know, whether it kind of excuses my behaviour or. You know, and I mean, die letting a single thing uh, determine who you are is stupid. You know, you are. You know, it might be, you know, if you're a doctor, you may be a doctor. People are assuming you are a doctor, but you know, for you, might you might assume yourself to be a knitter because you like in, you know, making clothes. And uh, for so long, I've been using that bipolar as my diagnosis. Like, you know, to, to kind of define me. And uh, when she kind of said she's not sure that's got it, it was like a. Was, it took me about a week or so to kind of like think, oh, fuck, you know, it's this, this big, big thing that I've made a, such a big deal about in my life. Now it's gone a couple of years and it may not even be the right one. And uh, I'm kind of worried that if I go there, and I don't get a new diagnosis. And it's just going to lead me back to where I was. With questions about, you know, obviously there's something wrong with me. And, you know, I guess not being bipolar is a good thing. But I kind of, I kind of feel like I need a diagnosis for, for things to make sense. For, for there to be a reason for it. Like, you know, if it's just a case of, oh, you're just depressed. For 12 fucking years, yeah, right. You know, if I can't have, if I come out with a new diagnosis, then I can't, I can't have an answer. I'll have a, I 
guess another thing to define myself by, which I don't want to this time because if you know a simple kind of hour mental health assessment can make them go, why well, we don't think you're that? And that's what I've been basing my entire life on, you know, for the last couple of years. It's kind of like, okay, so there's that. So I'll be going through that again. Since <laughs> since I left that other job, went back to my old company as no longer management. My money income has kind of gone. And uh, I am doing so much fucking overtime just trying to make ends meet. <clears throat> I don't have the, you know, I'm never been good at money, but I don't have the, like, disposable cash that I once did. And I'm really, really feeling that. Like, sorry, I'm really feeling that. And that's another one of the reasons, like, why I've made, you know, the, the PayPal thing, you know. So I keep saying this, people pay into it, fantastic, thank you very much, you know, it'd be great if we spent on this tech and stuff, whatever. But if not, like, um, then, you know, it just means things will be slower, there won't be as to date and stuff, you know. You know, kind of I'm getting the bills paid, keeping the roof, you know, me and the wife working, keeping the roof over our heads, you know food and stuff like that but you know like stuff like new phones and new laptops and things I used to buy so often are uh, a thing of the past now and they said no until applying for jobs and stuff but I'm kind of not sure whether to I thought I had time to like I don't know look for the perfect job for me for now I mean, I got accepted into university recently to study social care, which is great. And uh, I think I applied for that just because I needed a sense of... <laughs> this is less ASMR and more vlog now, isn't it? Vlog. Uh, I needed a sense of kind of like moving on and false hope and stuff, and that's fine. And I actually got onto the course, which is really good. But I'm not sure I'll be able to afford to... Um... Oh, new tattoo, yeah present from the wife from birthday and Christmas I'm not sure I'll be able to afford to um to go so but you know at least I can I know there's options and stuff for in the future and stuff I mean I've been really 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 bad with like the suicidal thoughts and stuff at the moment and um I'm still working on the ideas of doing some really really dark ASMR videos like ASMR doesn't have to be happy as you can see, I'm wearing a shirt as well, so that I should stop people burning. <laughs> I've now been yammering on. There's a bunch of things I wanted to say. Just, I guess, yeah, so to recap, new name, new social media, new stuff. Uh, I, I'm not going to make any promises about stuff I'm going to do with the channel anymore because I just never stick to it. This is just a hobby for me, you know, and... Uh, I love getting, you know, when I get off an email in the mornings, I check my emails and, you know, if I've got comments, that's great, you know, I check that and I go, oh, wow, 25,000 views this Monday night. It's, I do this for me because <clears throat> I've got an ego that likes positive feedback, it's great. Uh, and uh, there are, you know, there's a few of you that I kind of that comment regularly, excuse me, that comment regularly and uh, I've considered you know, you had me on for Snapchat and I chat to you now and there and stuff and it's fantastic, you know. I absolutely love doing this and I have no intention of stopping. Sometimes I do it more often, sometimes I don't, you know, it's just... If you want to stick around, it's awesome. If you don't, there are much better people out there doing this than I am. Of course they don't. No, there are just much better people out there. <laughs> right, on this note, I'm a... I'm working on improving things. I'm working on getting better. And uh, I think I'm going to share that journey with you, to be fair. Uh, I quite, I find this quite therapeutic. And, uh, yeah. Cheers for... Cheers for kind of like, you know, sticking with me over this time and my erratic updates and stuff. And... Um, I'm
see you later. I had a request from a friend to do another beard brushing video. So, um, here goes. I don't actually own a brush. As you can see, I'm still in a sling. A couple of weeks ago. I slipped up on some black ice and dislocated my shoulder. So But all I can do is hold a control pad. So I have literally done nothing over the last few days except play video. This is actually one of the first videos I'm not recording at like a stupid time in the morning. Let me use my comb. 
Let's see if we can do different noises. You may be shocked that it's pink. Or not, if you know me at all. I'll go back to the brush. I could do my normal hair. Which I actually have some at the moment. Very ginger in this light, actually. In the sunlight, hence the glow. God, it looks like a really day blonde. Well, hello there. They see how a man plays with his beard. He likes you. <laughs> I thought it'd been a long time since I'd done a beard brushing video, which I will mix up with. Some 
in our city centre. said beer trim 12 pound and I thought 30 quid <laughs> and I looked at it and I've gone oh I can't do tomorrow man I'm working I left <laughs> so I was like that's not gonna work and then um, we went to um, I stopped off at this place in Ohio and I popped in there and uh, I said you know just do something with my hair and she goes it's too short or too long and I was like what well, it's too short to do it's also too long to do anything with. Like, he said, uh, annoying, and at some point I have to style it because I'm starting to look homeless. And I was like, <laughs> I said, do something. So she just kind of cut the edges a bit and, uh, and then she trimmed my beard, these bits. Which is why this is like this length. And this is like a half and I think I teared up and um, I think I made her uncomfortable because like I said I haven't been to a bar in 10 years and now she's doing my beard and hair cut I'm looking at mirror going because I didn't know where to look I didn't know who to talk to and she kept trying to talk to me but she had this razor you know she was sorry the clippers in my ear so it's kind of like what do you think? I'm like, and then you know again, it was a sports team. Yeah. <laughs> and then that, and she charged me six pound fifty. So I will probably go back there. Let's get crazy and use a comb.
Christmas is over and I wanted to I wasn't planning to make some videos but uh, I was really really ill If you got this far in, <coughs> I might as well tell you some plans I got for the channel. These aren't, once again, like I said before, I'm not making any promises. I'm not making any um, you know, facts saying oh, I'm going to do this a video every weekend. I'm going to do that and that, yada yada yada, because we know I'm not good at that, and I won't do it. Man, I'll get some back sometimes. But what I have got is. Uh, I've changed my name again uh, to what my very first one was and the reason for that is um, A. I got bored and B. Well, I like the name Drunk ASMR I want to start making some uh, mental health videos and facts on borderline personality disorder and stuff and that's what I was uh, diagnosed with recently, well, about a year ago and uh, I want to focus on male mental health and I, I feel well like you know 80% of my viewer base is male and I kind of think that might help <clears throat> and if you get a video like saying oh you're not alone or something like this in the title and then he says drunk ASMR you're not gonna go oh yeah that would be quite helpful so I thought the ASMR dude it seems pretty fit you know it's not a fun it's not, not an unfun name I am going to, um, my chat, sorry, I've got a sack cross-legged with this between my, no, uh, this year I like to break 5,000 subscribers, that'd be cool, and I'd like to try and break 50, 1.5 million views, and I think that's, that's doable if, if I'm more active maybe, so we'll see, we never know, the thing with BBD is, uh, I could be having the best day of my life. Uh, really, really looking forward to something, and then like one tiny, tiny thing, one tiny thing goes off, and I just lose my shit. I, oh, you know, my mood drops down to suicidal, and <coughs> emotion regulation isn't great, and uh, that's why I'm on a course at the moment, a therapy course. I'm still very active on Snapchat, and uh, I'm still, uh, yeah, I'm still active on Snapchat, and uh, I put below like a, a Facebook and Twitter again, and I started getting really, really, for God's sake, sorry, <coughs> I started getting really, really, oh yeah, I'm going to be all the social thing, and then forgot that, I avoided the channel again for a while, because I got overwhelmed and stuff, and I realised that I don't want to do the other channels do, you know, where you can get older and everything, I'm quite happy with Snapchat, you know, you guys send me random shit, I send you random shit, uh, I basically only use Twitter to moan at companies, <laughs> so, uh, I know this is disjointed as normal, the beeping's gonna happen about 30 seconds, Tweeted us all. But you know, if you made it this far, you're probably one of the few people that is really weird. Oh, I'm fairly sure I have been affected by that change in YouTube's algorithms. Uh, because what the number of views I've got per month 
it's gone down by about 20% and uh, like just dropped really randomly it wasn't like when you look at the analytics it's constantly like that but it's, it's gone it's really weird so but oh well that doesn't matter not unless for the money or anything like that Is there any better way than a yawn to start off a ASMR video? Because it will get you going to go, oh yeah, yeah I'm tired. And that's why I'm here. I've got a cat wrapped around my legs right now. So I thought I would, uh, it's been a long time since I've done a beard video. Did I stand back? My cat's gone. I was gonna grab the cat and then beard brush him for a while to get some uh, views and comfort points, but he's gone. So, it's currently November 10th and it is many videos tonight in the end mm. oh that's um just you know like no that's not born <laughs> that is indigo stars asmr and uh, she is my favorite asmr channel and you should totally check her out her stuff is just amazing in the middle of the second lockdown in uh, England. I'd say Great Britain, but um, Scotland and uh, Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> they do the wrong things. So. And uh, you know what? It's a beard brushing video, and it's not just this brush. Oh, this one I have. It's gonna get political because you know you're here for the beard brushing, but you know, fuck you, it's my channel. Uh, so we're in the middle of another. And since the middle of July, it has been mandatory for masks to be worn in public places. Not necessarily like in public, but if you're in a shop. tend to wear a snood rather than a mask because if I wear a mask it's kind of a so I tie this up and I wear a snood and you know I can just tuck underneath but um normally I have to have my beard to a certain degree trimmed now obviously I've been growing this for about four years ago. Uh, 
from here fairly often because I have the rule of two fists. Normally, the rule of two fists is one, two, trim that. And when I get it trimmed professionally, it normally goes much shorter than that. But uh, as you can see, it's gone much beyond the rule of two fists. And I normally get these sides trimmed quite a bit. Although the top knot is gone. So, you know, let's, let's put this on backwards. I'm intending to put some funky background up on this way, so I normally have to have it some kind of trimmed, you know, but because I've been wearing a mask for there's a cat thrown up. I'll do that later. Because I've been wearing a mask for three, four months, not so of work. I've just not seen the point in trimming, so the outside of my beard is getting fairly long. Now, unfortunately, the sides of my face... Dude, you right there? You gonna sneeze again? Come here. See, this guy... This guy has a better beard than me, don't you? Say hello to the screen. His whiskers, Mwah, they're much better than mine. But, I just think right now, so I feel like my beard is a... Uh, wild again. <laughs> so my cat doesn't like being picked up, but he won't run away. So. May as well do like a live update. So, whilst I do this, I'm going to use a musk oil beard oil with a proper comb. Now, the guy who did my beard told me that a plastic comb pulls the hair out, which might be likely because, I mean, you can see it on the And this comes with a drop, so I'm gonna offer you to smell this, and you won't be able to, but it's a very woody, manly, manly woody smell. So I am really bad looking after my own health. So when I get fuck's sake, <laughs> when I get depressed, the first thing that goes is my. Uh, When I get depressed, the first thing I stop doing is looking after myself, so showering. You know, I used to go to and fresh clothes every day, but I want to shower, I want to clean. It's kind of skanky, but that's how it goes. And uh, beard maintenance goes with that, so I don't look after this baby as much as I should have. And uh, if you want a gorgeous beard, similar to my own, but much better looked after, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm going to link you to Wandering Whispers. So, there are two ways I put on bit oil. So, because it's kind of running out and I need to buy more, it's like a stopper. Wheel. I have to kind of cry like that. And it picks them up. So, there are two ways of doing this thing. So sometimes I can go. I didn't pick a lot. And then I go. That smell very nice. And then I run the comb through. Ah, and it does make it a lot smoother. But there's a way I'd rather do it. So you can tell because I normally shave like a lot. See how something grab my beard from there. I call it this fringe. <laughs> the way I prefer to do it is this. Don't want to spill everywhere, so. Yeah, good chunk here. Yeah. And then you grab that and you can go. A 
thin veil. If you do this before wearing a mask, especially if you're not looking after yourself, which I have not been recently, I'm not gonna lie, I've been a bit crazy. And uh, what you smell is the beard rather than the breath. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it does help. Exact same video at the exact same time, but zoomed in. So I think that'd be quite funny. So um, this is how I meant to look after my beard, and uh, as you can see, that so I keep meaning to go for the mustache and kind of zoom out on it because I want to twirl it around. And uh, if I don't. a man who has no hair going to do a hair brushing video and you may also be thinking yes you can see the reflection of the camera screen in my glasses <laughs> so in answer to question one now this may seem a bit weird and it feels it to be honest <laughs> my wife to do a hairbrushing video and uh, well she seemed keen on the idea we have yet to find time <laughs> even though I'd admit this is a bit weird and I'm saying that while I'm making an ASMR video
the Xbox One makes the most sense because that's the one my friends are probably going to get that I play online with. I'm a big fan of the Halo series. I like the Gears of War series, although that's getting a bit old. I'm curious about Rise, Son of a seems to be just about games plus a bit of Blu-ray but I don't um, I'm not really that familiar with their exclusive content although the PlayStation Plus network does seem to be a lot better than Xbox Live at the moment you know they're giving free games away all the time like full games the Microsoft games Xbox On Demand all games of gold thing is uh, it's very shite, to be honest. I don't know why I'm moving my mouth. Just like I'm shaving. <laughs> this is an impromptu video. Just to see how it goes. To be honest, I've been planning to do this one for about a week. And, uh... <laughs> I've just had the brush, I just sit there. Brushing. <laughs> it feels quite nice <laughs> but I think I'm going to have to get rid of this beard at some point soon because uh, I'm applying for jobs and I don't think my area manager is going to be too impressed with it but if we can just uh, I don't know if that comes both ways I don't know if this is freaking people out because it's I don't, I doubt, I, 
posted a video to Reddit earlier yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, the guy said that I was freaky or uh, apparently I weirded him out. No, creepy, sorry. Creepy was the word. Which after making this video I can understand somewhat. <laughs> Nonsensical rambles I seem to be doing. If I was a pretty girl, it'd be better, but I'm not. <laughs> so, I've made no sense whatsoever in this video. And I think I'm starting to wear through to my skin. So, I'm going to call it quits. And I hope that this was maybe a bit enjoyable.
I just do a couple of things every few months. So it's a bit floppy. So the way I do it is I've got it professionally done. I tend to do the lining, trim the mustache, because basically it's getting to the point where oh, excuse me. It's getting to the point where either I start catching it when I eat, or my wife starts moaning when I kiss her. And then, uh, chop the sides of it. But I may not do that this time. So, so this bit, I tend to use a mirror. Just wear the shape. That's it because for some reason my beard grows up to about there. It's still not there, so I just that's it. I do this oh, I'll try to do at least once a month or so. It's still not there. And I, I kind of rub it up against the palm. There's a thing that says to keep blades sharp if you run them opposite against a towel. But I find that when you do that, it just gets the hair out of the blade. So. There may be some of you cringing about a dry blade, but I tend to get stuck. Make 
cringe about how I do this, but I don't really care about the moustache because that's not what has people's, you know, attention. So I have a guess. So it's kind of just a And I know what you're thinking, you're going, wait, is that going on his beard or is it going on the floor? Well, I need to hoover at some point and my wife when it comes in here, so I can have a bloody hell. Get away with it, so. And you're not shaving properly unless you're doing this. Actually, this works a lot better than a mirror. I should do a video of this every time. Isn't it? Just because it's a bit longer. So we've got a little bit there. Hey, this works a lot better than a video. A mirror. It's easy because I might have it. This bit's a little bit kind of. using my bed and my wife wants to continue kissing me
where I've had my beard tied up all day, you can see the king. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do a few minutes of beard brushing. <laughs> I think it'll come. It's not even one in the morning yet, and I'm still like, mm. Why is that on my throat? Thank you for making it to the shampoo. 